In this video, I'm going to show you PyCoreSight for the iPhone. Now, PyCoreSight is loaded from the App Store. You can just search CoreSight or OSI Soft and you'll find it. And once loaded, you can launch it and you'll be brought to a demo server. Now, I've configured to look at a, my own PyCoreSight server, but you'll be able to try it out if you want to try it out. So go ahead and load it. You'll get to use the demo data. So once I'm in here, I have a few options with the, with the iPhone app. First off, I can see my most recent displays that I've seen. And when I view them, I can see a list of data and scroll through all the data that I have along with current values. And I also have a trend. If I click on any of the pieces of data, they'll be added to my trend. From there, I can move my trend around and load up new data. I can pinch and zoom to zoom out. I could even turn the phone sideways and I'll get a more um, a full trend experience. So the phone experience is focused around being able to see your data in a trend or just see a list of data here rather than on the on the desktop or the iPad experience which has a more um, detailed display. This one's focused on the small area that we have for an iPhone. Okay. Similarly, if I want with a trend, I have a few options of changing the axis to all share the same axis or to use their own uh, y axis. I can click quick buttons to change the time to one hour, eight hours, or one day. I can also click the now button and I'll be bringing new data into the phone as it appears. If I want to search for a display, I can click instead of most recent, the search icon. And from here, I can search for any of the displays that are on my CoreSight server. So what I'm going to search for is batch and what this will return is all the, s the displays that have batch in the name. So I search batch, it's gone to the server and now the server is going to return all the displays that have batch in the name. So you can see here I have a list of displays all with, with batch in them and so I can see this, this is a display that's on my server. If there's an item in my Pi system that has the name batch in it, so an item in my AF, my asset framework that has batch, so here it's PyBigen batch search time or batch ID, I can click on it and I'll be able to get a trend of that piece of data. And I can work with it just like I could with a display. I can zoom out, I can scroll around. Now let's see how a display here compares to an iPad or desktop experience. So if I look at this display, temperature excursion and then I view it on the iPad as well. So this is the same display on the iPad and the iPhone. So you notice on the iPad uh, I get the full display where there's there's um, values on top and there's trends and there's a table but on the iPhone that just would be way too much for this little screen, right? So instead I see a list of all of the items that are anywhere on this display. So you'll notice that there's batch active, batch ID, there's a number of different items that are shown somehow on this display here, on the iPad, on the desktop. All of those items, however they're displayed, will appear in this list here on the iPhone. If I click one, it's added to the trend, the trend on the phone. And the phone will only have one trend and will always have one trend. So this is the same data but it's just shown in two different formats on the iPhone and the, the desktop. If I think this, this display is just the bee's knees and I want to share it with somebody on the iPhone, I can press this button in the top right. And I'm given some options to share it by email or by text message. So if I press the text message, I'm given a link and I can send it to a colleague. So I'm going to send it to myself here. And when I send it, it goes off and I receive a text message and if I click on that text message and if I click that link I'm brought back into the CoreSight app and I see the same display so I could share this display with a colleague in the same data so that they have it on their phone. I could also email that display to a desktop application and start working with it there if I wanted to.